Hey, folks, it's Fox News again. Shannon Fox News, or Devoted Patriots, too, as you know. Uh, Going to watch a little bit of Fox News with you guys and try not to laugh too hard uh, because it is good. Uh, it's great news, and uh, I think it's powerful information. Uh, whether you like the news source or not, sometimes it's the only place to find certain information, whether it, whether no matter what station it's coming from. Um, that's way I can put this is. This is one you probably don't want to miss because this is really good news for what's really going on behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and get into it. Right. And this gets very alarming. That is early as... I think December 21st or 23rd, I forget the exact date, I read your article, uh, that in fact multiple warnings, intelligence was saying that there were groups, radical groups out there planning to riot on January the 6th and they were ignored completely? Yeah, absolutely. So FBI, Homeland Security, U.S. Marshals Service and the Metropolitan Police Department all provided the Capitol Police with extensive detailed information they were intercepting through their sources of people planning to go to the January 6th rally and cause tr trouble, attack members of Congress, storm the Capitol. That's an exact word from the intelligence reports. All of that is gathered up by the intelligence division of the Capitol Police and it's disseminated to the leadership and other people and then nothing happens. In fact, the final plans for January 6th, I mean, all these documents are on Just the News now, you can go see them, actually says there was no threat analysis, no known threat analysis, a complete lie. But here's the most important thing. A whistleblower has stepped forward. His name is Eric Hoare. He's a decorated army uh, military veteran. He is an intelligence analyst. He was the, one of the best that the Capitol Police have. He now works for the Homeland Security Department. He's so trusted. He says that he wrote a memo, actually we have the memo, on January 9th, three days after the, the terrible riots occurred, he wrote a memo to all his bosses saying, listen, there's no way to sugarcoat this. We knew in advance of all of this intelligence and we didn't Boom. act on it. We failed, we've got to learn from it. We can't cover it up. Uh, there's no way to, to spin this other than we had an opportunity to stop. And he talks about how nauseous he was knowing that his fellow officers went out there on January 6th completely blind to the intelligence he provided his bosses. This is a devastating whistleblower. Dang. I have confirmed he is Busted. working with Capitol Hill Republicans, House Republicans, working on the House Administration mm -hmm. Committee, Rep. Rodney Davis. They've interviewed him and several other whistleblowers. If Republicans get control of Congress next year, an entirely different story about Nancy Pelosi's preparations for January 6th is gonna burst onto the scene tonight. People get to see the first part of it, the actual whistleblower's memos to his bosses three days after January 6th, and all the intelligence he provided going back to December 21st, 2020. And we expect that the Capitol Police chief uh, who had requested the guard, he's coming out with a book and that's supposed to be equally as explosive? I've heard those reports. I haven't been able to confirm it, but I have I've heard that he's been writing on a book or some sort of uh, a long expose on what he knows. Uh, but the documents that are out tonight are going to irrefutably show, one, Capitol Police had plenty of warnings, specific, detailed, extensive, nonstop warnings. And when they learned, when they got their police department ready for January 6th, they left all that intelligence out. I, I encourage everybody to go take a look at the riot uh, unit document, the document they gave the riot control units. It says there was no threat analysis at all. That is simply not true from the documents we made public tonight. Eric Corr, remember that name. He's going to be a very important witness in the next year in Congress. All right, Tom Solomon, about. thank you for those reports. We appreciate it. Justthenews.com. Now, we are only 56 days away from the all-important midterm elections, and frankly, it can't come fast enough. Now, today we got more horrific economic numbers. Inflation was... E As in, uh, I don't need to hear about Sh Sean Hannity. Telling about the economy, we know it's in bad shape right now. But uh, I am glad that they're keeping up with the countdown to the election. It is coming on. If you're not registered to vote, what are you waiting for? If you're not going to vote, I don't understand. I've got another video I will bring you on a day or two from um, Donald Trump Jr. And it is actually an advertisement as to why I go vote red this um, this November. It's a good one. It's actually kind of a mind-blowing video. I'll bring that to you tomorrow if you're waiting in the meantime. Now, that's all I got for you on this particular video, but 
It, did y'all hear that information? Did y'all hear what they said? We got whistleblowers that prove that they knew what happened in December about what was going to happen on January 6th. And they didn't tell anybody because it looks like Nancy Pelosi and probably Mayor Bowser as well and some of the higher-ups in the um, Capitol Guard, I'm guessing, silenced the story so it would happen anyway. That's the story here, folks. And it's not just what we believe. It is what the whistleblowers are saying that worked for this whole process. Uh, I can't wait because it's what it's going to do. We all know it's going to implicate Nancy Pelosi. When we prove that Nancy Pelosi, who run the sham committee to uh, attack, go after Trumpers, including Trump, that the um, final result being that she orchestrated a lot of the things that could have stopped the violence because they knew about there were some people that were possibly going to do bad things on that day. Um, I don't know anything about who actually done all the stuff, but I have my feelings that a lot of it was provoked by uh, people by the names of like Ray Epps, there's one, and several other. Um, agency employees, and I'll leave it at that. But um, I thought this was pretty interesting news that we have got this information going to go to the Congress. We're going to get to ask Nancy Pelosi. I, I can't wait to hear Jim Jordan ask Nancy Pelosi, why didn't you uh, allow Trump to beef up the guard? Why didn't you alert the Capitol Police? Why didn't you make provisions to prevent even the possibility? She's not going to have no answer. She's going to sound like Dr. Fauci. I can't wait, folks. We may be able to get that woman hemmed up on charges before this is over. I got to pray for such things. And this is breaking news. It's not going to hit anytime soon. But come after November, our Congress is going to be busy. We got dozens of things we got to get into the investigate. And there's just another one right there, folks. We may have to uh, let all those people out of jail before this is all said and done. Once we prove that Nancy placated the situation that's just my opinion for youtube's sake um that's all i got for you folks on this one i'm gonna bring, bring you a couple more videos today i've got some, just a few spicy things that i thought i, could, I would share even some that made me laugh and giggle a little bit if it, i think it's funny enough to uh, make me smile and laugh i want to share it what else can i say folks get a little bit of news and a whole lot of light-hearted comedy over here because god knows the news is sad sometimes like, subscribe, and share to Voter Patriots. Give me your comments down below. Um, come check out my Junkin channel, uh, DIY Scrapper, if you haven't already. If you need the link to that, just ask me. I'll, in the comment section, I'll type it up for you. 